Hello students. Today I am here to teach you the chapter number first of physics. Yet now in the class fifth you have studied science as a whole. Now the science will be bifurcated in three parts. That will be physics, chemistry, and biology. So here is the physics chapter number first, matter. Matter with the two words space and mass. By the definition, matter is that which have mass and occupies space. That means the volume which come into the existence along with the mass will give us as matter. Matter is composed of atoms and molecules. Now the atoms, atoms, it is the smallest unit of element. Second thing, molecule. It is the smallest unit of matter. It will now. Coming on the next part, in this chapter, we have to study about the state of matter. State of matter means, like say over here, state of matter is solid, this is liquid and this is gases. Solid, liquid, gases. Have you thought, of, thought it out, what makes the things so different, solid, liquid and gas? Solid like a piece of wood, liquid like uh, flowing of water and gases, any of that, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, like this example. So what makes these things different? Let's see. Different state of matter is due to the difference in arrangement of particles of matter. Means how their particles are arranged in that it gives the rise to the solid, liquid, and gases. The difference between them in this way. Come on. With us in the solids, particles are very closely packed, holding each other tightly. Let's take with an example. Example for this. Uh, suppose take a box in which marbles are kept away and this marble puts as much marbles as you much you can put it and cover the lid over there now try to shake that what do you notice you can't see any of the marbles moving here and there it means that there will be no motion in that it why so because the marbles in that box are tightly packed in the same way the molecules in the solids are tightly packed as shown in this figure with the help of this you can come to that so the motion is least in the second part that is in liquids in liquids the molecules the particles are very not very closely packed means less than that solid and more than of gases well in this this type of things come into existence how the the liquid can flow they have a definite volume but they don't have a definite shape see as like with an activity if you take a beaker of this shape then a of this shape and then a bottle of this shape. Equal amount of water. If you pour in all the three, what we should see that these in this jar, the water take the shape of the container. Means it has the capability to flow. It can change its shape. It has a definite volume. Third one comes about the gases. For gases, we can say that uh, example like perfume or dew. Let you notice that when you spray the perfume or the dew in a room on one corner, the smell can be filled in whole of the room. What does it, how does it happen? Because the particles of the gases are very free to move from one place to another. That's why they get scattered in whole of the room and we feel the smell. That's why the particles in gases are loosely packed. This, this is all about the solid, liquid and gases. Next. Further on, we have to study about the characteristics. <coughs> characteristics of solids. Characteristics of solids. First of all, very first key point is that it has, solids have definite or fixed shape definite have fixed shape second thing is they have fixed volume so two of the things first is shape and second is volume they can be and the third one it is they cannot flow solids cannot flow from one place to another. This is the quality of the solid. Fourth one, it is all incompressible. So 
so it is a incompressible means it cannot be compressed as the shape are that is means the compression is not allowed there next is they are fourth one is hard to touch so there are some key points about the solid that they have a definite shape definite volume definite size solids cannot flow they are incompressible and hard to touch up to the way is this is the key points of solid then characteristics of in the short we are going to know characteristics of liquids as like in that they have fixed volume very first thing fixed volume but no fixed definite shape no definite or fixed shape third one liquids can flow liquids can flow very easily and they are soft to touch this is the thing between the key points of the liquid let's come give you an exceptional case in the solid i told you that solid is incompressible okay but if you see a thing you must have seen sponge yeah so you said it is sponge otherwise it is sponge it has a definite shape it has a porous molecule it's just like that suppose we are taking that the sponge it is definite shape definite volume yes it is hard to touch but it can be compressed it can be compressed so this is the exceptional case of the solid that is sponge Got that? In the so coming back to the point, characteristics of the liquid solids completed. Characteristics of liquids completed. Now the characteristics of gases. For the gases, characteristics are as follows. Gases. First of all, no fixed shape. no fixed shape no fixed volume these gases can also flow they can also flow from one place to another much more this will be that of liquids they are compressible compressible so these are the some of the topics on for the gases So this is solid sketches of solids, liquids, and gases. These are the three things on which we have to differentiate. With the help of this, we solve them. Some of them are also over there. Some of the differences are also there. But up to over here, we have to study this much. So this was the difference between them. According to your syllabus, one more thing exists in your chapter that is the interconversion of state. It means interconversion of state. state of matter what does this means interconversion states of matter matter can change from it can change from change from one form to another matter can change from one form to another depending upon the condition is temperature and pressure say how suppose if we take a solid converted into liquid liquid and this can be converted into gas how suppose if i give you an example of ice ice when it is heated or we can when it is heated it will melt into water this water further on heated will turn into gas or the vapor vapor or the steam so what is it this is the interesting interconversion of the states of matter according to your syllabus this is that the things can change into the liquid solid can change into the liquid liquid can change into the gases the reverse is also possible 
under the terms of cut temperature and pressure. But according to your syllabus, this is initial up to over here. So this was the electrical conversion. Three more definitions, or we can say that the key uh, definitions are over there. First one, which is to be, is melting point. Second, boiling point. And the last one, which is a freezing point. This is all about freezing point. Melting point, boiling point, and freezing point. See, here what is happening? The solid is melting into liquid. This ice is melting into water. So the temperature, the temperature at which ice start melting is the melting point of the ice what uh, so ice that so what is that melting point second one it is that that boiling point suppose boiling point if we say that the water when the liquid start changes into the temperature at which liquid start changes into vapor of the gases that is all this boiling point or we can say that when the liquid start boiling it is known as the boiling point Finally, this two was over here. Third one is the freezing point. Freezing point is that the temperature at which the liquid start uh, converting into the solids or can we start freezing. That is, we can say that the water, suppose if we put in the freezer, what we see after some time period, we see that it becomes ice. So it is the ice is water has been freezed into the ice. These are the only uh, three things which is mentioned in your syllabus. There are much, much more. But up to your syllabus, up to the mark, these are the things. So, in a brief, I again review with that we studied about the state of matter. State of matters, solid, liquid, and gas. Because of the intermolecular force of attraction or the intermolecular species, as I told you earlier also in the solids. In the revision, what I am telling that solids, the particles are closely back to each other. In the liquid, particles are loosely packed this is liquid and finally for the gases the particles are too far from each other therefore that one word I would like to tell you that intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular force of attraction which is highest in the solid less in the liquid and least in the gases by the meanwhile we complete the chapter and this is the all which was about the state or the about the matter so guys go through with this did properly get in touch be prepared thank you